hey brothers and sisters it's value for viral welcome back to another video you know i've been reading the comment section and i had a request from some people to decode and break down the new video by chloe bailey she made a video called treat me so let's just go to the video and see exactly what she's trying to say in that video but before we jump in don't forget to hit the like button subscribe if you're new and leave your thoughts in the comment section now talking about chloe bailey on the last segment I decoded her first single called Half Mercy. On that single, I really came out and I exposed it. And I also told you guys about how deep she has gotten herself into this music stuff and she has opened herself to these demonic energies. Hence, selling her soul to the devil. Even though she said she never sold her soul to any devil, actions speak louder than words. And from her latest videos, her posts on Instagram, she's all about pushing the agenda on the masses definitely we know that she's a puppet for the music industry serving the elites to push out the agenda of perversion on the masses if you're a true born again christian definitely just by watching her videos you come across one demonic energy it's called the spirit of jezebel it's so common for you to just look at what she's doing and you just understand it's a spirit of sexual immorality it's a spirit of seduction and it's a spirit of lust one of the most important value as a christian is for you to test spirits and know the spirit the bible says that we have to test spirits and know the spirit nobody need to be demon possessed or acting crazy before you can like oh like he's demon possessed or she's demon possessed as a christian you have to be very 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 woke and have the spirit of discerning in the sense that you can look at somebody and know exactly which spirit is controlling that person because every single human action is backed up by a spirit for those who are very familiar with Chloe Bailey, you probably know the fact that she was a gospel singer and she acted in a lot of gospel music. So kind of like she was brought up in the way of the Lord. But as you can see, she has deviated her path and she has decided to go in to serve the devil and serve his purpose. Now talking about this music video, let's start recording this music video. You know the intro of the music video, we start seeing that same demonic energy. On the last segment on my previous video on Chloe Bailey, I really took time and really decoded that stuff because it was kind of hidden in plain sight and very shady but as you can see on the previous video called half mercy she was kind of like possessed by a demonic spirit and you know when i took time and you know pause the video and you know slow motion the video people people got angry with me because they felt like i was just exaggerating or, or i was just being jealous on this girl but you know i thought about it and i felt like no we have to really expose and show out the real truth to people and you can always do that by your own self but sometimes people ignore these things we have to understand that we are human beings and we live only once so before you start you know walking around idolizing people and worshiping people you have to make sure that you really dissect every single thing because we have good energy we have bad energy and definitely chloe bell is not really positive in her vibes now she's spending most of her time pushing out the agenda on the masses you know what i'm talking about Apart from the black and white approach, which is a very common Mansonic symbolism, you know what I'm saying? But it also throws more light on the fact that Chloe Bell is not in the puppet for the music industry. As you can see, we have an animal in the scene, like a leopard, a cat. You know, normally if you're if you're really into these conspiracy theories, you must have seen a lot of videos where we have this artist bringing up animals into the scene, especially cats from the cat family which is always called the better sex kitten programming to let us know that they are slaves to the music industry they are mk ultra slave they have been through mind control programming like mind control is all about selling your soul because you're you're completely out of control and you're doing things that are not even necessary to your own belief and to your own self you're out serving a puppet master you are out serving a handler so kind of like your soul belongs to that person if you know what i mean Definitely, as you've seen in this video, Chloe Bell is mainly trying to sexualize the masses, which is normally called hypersexualization. I've spoken about this hypersexualization a lot in my videos, and so you, you probably have heard about it already. You know about Megan Thee Stallion, Cardi B, and the rest. All they do is to hypersexualize the masses, and definitely, if you look at Chloe Bailey, she's trying to push herself to that to that edge. Like that's what she wants to be right now. She's trying to show the world how she's beautiful how she's sexy how she's thick which is something that you have to conserve to yourself if you know what i mean so definitely most of these subjects that go through this 
better sex kit in programming are always used for sex escort like they go out for prostitution like stuff like that you know if you have read more on the subject called mind control this is really called Barnett Fiona she made a whole exposure on mind control programming so I'm already used to seeing this thing come on like for those that have been through the better sex kidney programming most of what they do is to hyper sexualize the masses by exposing themselves to people and doing things that are very ungodly now apart from that we can clearly see Chloe Bailey going into the water to take a baptism which is normally called a satanic baptism and for some reason they make the background to be red normally some of the time if you have watched my videos i should expose the fact that they use blood and you clearly see blood they use blood a, a blood bathtub to baptize the subject so that when you emerge yourself you are completely different you become something else you become someone else as you can see globally she's imagining herself into the water taking a baptism to be reborn as a slave for the devil and as you can see most of what she's portraying on, on this video is her body trying to let us know that she's beautiful which is great yeah but really exposing your body i know like most of the time they try to use black women of certain caliber to hyper sexualize the masses especially ladies that are thick and bbws if you know what i mean now the next scene we have like dancers and they're dancing and for some reason she got six dancers i'm gonna try to ignore this but for some reason i feel like it's very necessary because you don't you don't ignore any symbolism that is exposed for those who have eyes to see the six is a very common symbolism and it's not just by coincidence that they got six, six dancers it's for a reason so the six is normally what we call the mark of a beast which is the mark of control the new world order in order for them to control the world they'll have to use the mark 66 which will be imposed on everybody if you don't take the mark of the beast you can't buy or sell so that's definitely the new world order agenda and most of the time um the elites they use their puppets the freemasons they always use their puppets they make sure that they try to implement the six symbolism somewhere and we have a lot of items a lot of drinks and a lot of agendas that run with the mark 66 which is the mark of control apart from that one thing which i really took note about is this scene where she goes to this table and she climbs on the table and she's dancing in a very sexual and seductive way you know looking at that normally when we think about this table in the conspiracy platform we kind of think about the elites that control the world because they always sit together in the, in, the, in the table and they run things in the underworld that's what the bible says that for we don't wrestle against flesh and blood but against principalities and powers against rules of darkness in the heavenly places you know they also have some kind of like a gathering on this earth where they sit down and they decide on the destinies of most people so when you see all these wars all these agendas that are coming up on like all the agendas you know about pandemics and all these things it's not something that just came like one day it's something that they have been planning for a long period of time and they have been working on that and that is why most of the time you see some of this stuff in like creative programming in different cartoons in movies in in a lot of stuff so these elites who serve the devil definitely meet in the underground or some hidden places and they do these meetings you know something like that and we can see how chloe bell is just allowing us to know that she's definitely out there serving their purpose she's kind of like a puppet for them where she goes around dance and do some evil stuff which is definitely part of the devil's agenda you know one of the devil's agenda is sexual immorality and there's a whole there's a whole level in hell there's a whole level in hell which is all about sexual immorality for those that dying in sexual scenes they have a whole place in hell for them if you know what i mean so this music video is nothing but a continuation of what she has been doing before it's kind of like a continuation of her mind control programming where she's out to push out an agenda on the masses you know a lot of young black girls they look up to this lady they feel like she's so nice and she's so genuine which is good and which is right but as you can see right now her agendas her new stuff she's only trying to push out sexuality on the masses which is not good for a young black lady you know the bible says that our body is the temple of the most high god and we shouldn't use our body to you know what i'm saying so with that said leave your thoughts on what you think about chloe bailey leave your suggestion if you got any hit the like button subscribe if you're new and please share this video for some sick reason it's like i've lost access to my main account so value for viral 
I don't have control for value for viral anymore which is crazy so I'm kind of like using another account to control value for viral so I'll try to rectify that and then we can keep going on forward with the new videos or else I'll have to abandon this account completely anyways thanks for watching god bless you and see you in another video bye